When organizing their items, many databases will use specific words or phrases to describe and summarize the content of their sources. These words and phrases are usually called subjects, subject terms, or descriptors. When you go into the record of an item within a database, you can see them listed in the field marked by the same name. Often these terms are obvious. However, there may be times when a database uses a particular word or phrase to describe a concept that you might not use. For example, in the EBSCO database Education Research Complete, the database uses the term examination instead of the term tests. You can still search the word tests, but searching the word examination might find better results. To figure out which word or phrase a database prefers, look for its thesaurus. It may be named differently, like subjects or subject terms. Once in a thesaurus, you can search a word or phrase to see if it's the preferred term used by the database. If it's not, the database should provide an alternate term or phrase. When you click on one of the subject terms in the thesaurus, the database will provide additional information, such as a scope note that defines the term, or broader, narrower, or related subject terms. Within the thesaurus, you can add these subject terms to your search by clicking the box next to a term and selecting Add. It will now search this term in the subject field of the database records. You might also be able to explode a term. If available, check the box under the Explode heading and then click Add. Notice that your search is now looking for the term as well as all of its narrower terms in the subject fields of the database records. Remember that not all databases provide a thesaurus, but for those that do, you have a tool to help really define difficult or complicated search terms. If you have questions about a database's thesaurus, ask a librarian.